Do you guys want to learn how to make an awesome TNT launcher like this? You don't even have to press any buttons. It's automatic. Look at that. Wow. You guys want to learn how to make that? Well, I'll teach you how. Today's video. So, to make this TNT launcher, one of the very few things you'll need is a block of your choice. I like to use black wool. Uh, you're going to need a piston. Slime block. Block, redstone, redstone repeaters, and command block. I am sorry, but you cannot keep this in the in, uh, normal survival because you won't have access to command blocks. You could find a way to do it in survival. I'll try to, by the way. Uh, so, yeah, first, what you'll need to do is to stack up reasonably high. Alright? And so then what you want to do is place your sticky piston facing forwards in the opposite direction where you are, right here. So then you want to place your slime block there. Make sure you put no block underneath it because then the slime block will carry it with it. And so then what you want to do is find, how could I forget about TNT? That was like the, the number one resource. Okay, so you're going to need TNT. So this is what it should look like so far. So next, right next to the sticky piston, it has to be next to it, you're going to branch out like this and build something that kind of looks like this. Because now what we're going to do is make a loop. So you got, I want to get a button. So you place redstone on all four corners, and then redstone repeaters. And so what you're going to do is you're going to slow down two of them. So make it all the way like this, and then... Like that. So two of them are the quickest and two of them are the slowest. And so then what you want to do is hook up redstone. Let's take here. Oops, I did wrong. Sorry. Make sure that when you're doing it, redstone does connect to the piston. So it's going to have to be like this. Sorry about that. I did it wrong. Oops. Okay, so I'm failing a lot. Okay, so do it like that and then make sure it goes like that. So what you want to do now is do this. So, so it does that. Should be like this. Now this is good. You can put your TNT on, you can wait. To be honest, I like to wait. And also whether so make sure you also get a water bucket. Just in case the TNT blows up, you'll have a water bucket to just kind of use on it before it does it. So now what you want to do is build off another circle kind of loop thingy over here. So it's gonna be like this. Uh, so you're gonna put it right next to right next to here. Alright? Right next to this slime block. But make sure the slime block doesn't touch it or else it will carry it. So we're gonna make another loop. And this time, all of the repeaters are going to be at the fastest. So it's gonna look like that. And so, we will activate this. Oops, sorry, make sure. It... Yeah, make sure it works like that, all right? So, this is going really quick, and this is going somewhat medium, all right? So, we gotta have it look like this. Just like this. So now, we're going to go a third redstone. So it's gonna look like this. Make sure all of these are close together. They don't have to be close together, but I like to have them close together just to, you know, make some better. So, basically, now what you want to do is place redstone on three corners. It doesn't have to be just like you can place on any corner you want. And then you place a command block on one of the corners instead. So then you do redstone up here. But, just like the piston, you need, with the piston, you need to make two of them at the slowest and two of them at the fastest. So it looks like. And so, for this, you're going to have to put in the set block coming. So just watch what I put. So, set block, and then you're going to need coordinates like this. You see these? These are coordinates. So, you're going to need the coordinates of this place right here, where this is just going to Ah! I pushed it. So, right now, I'm going to diffuse that so I can find out these chords. So let's see, uh, let's type in slash fill, and then tab, tab, tab. You hit tab three times to find the chord. And so those are your chords, 33, 16, 296. So you wanna copy those with control shift, and arrow keys. So you do that, so you've got that now. 
and so then you want to load it in right there and so then you put TNT so now every time this com um, this redstone hits that command block it'll summon TNT to where you want it to so now what we will do is we will have this done okay and so we will take this button and the second we press it we got to get rid of it so three two one make sure you have the water out for this one get water right now if you don't already have it because make sure if this is going to be good just like it has to turn out just like that one so three two one Okay, get your water, get your water! So, you place that there. Alright, and so, first you just need to start off with TNT. That was probably interesting. So, then what you do is place that. That's how it should work. And so, TNT should come in every now and then. So, let's see. So, now, what you need to do is press the button. Boom, there you go. You got yourself a semi-automatic TNT launcher. Isn't that awesome? You gotta make sure you have TNT above the above the slime block before you actually enter this command block. Because then it's gonna be the giant ball right here. I'm on a flat world, so that's why the bedrock is so high. So yeah. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial video. But I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, um, leave a like down below to show that you liked it. And so, um, maybe I'll do another one of these. And I'll try to find out a way what you can do in survival without the command block, because in survival you can't get a command block. So I'll try to find it out, but I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'm Tyler, and I'll see you guys in the next